rolling? I'm using some of this red line high temp grease, uh, high performance grease, full synthetic grease. It's made for like 800 or 900 degrees. I'm just packing it around this little piece of metal here and uh, pushing it into the bearing a little at a time. That forces it down into the race because this is an open bearing. And uh, we'll put a little bit on the inside of this race as well. Uh, even though it's a closed race, we're going to put, put some right on the top so that over time it will seep down through there and help seal it and lubricate it. So we'll do a little of that uh, just so that we grease it up good. Yeah. And make sure your fingers are nice and clean. There we go. And there we go. All right. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm also going to put a little bit in these. Uh, I'm also going to put a little bit in this uh, this top housing here. that bearing and pack that bearing come on here we go and pack this bearing that way we get grease down in both of them plenty of grease on this thing here we go and I will wipe off the excess with a clean paper towel. You could use the tool for packing the grease into the inside of the bearings a little easier. Why don't I use the... Why don't I use the gear? Oh yeah, that works good. That worked really well. Hmm. Okay. And now what do we do? We put it together, right? We put the circuit board on, solder uh, it. Yeah, that's right. Well, why don't we put the, why don't we put the gears in the bottom housing first? Just because I want to do things differently. Sure. I'm doing this one. You're not doing this one. I'm doing this one. Mm -hmm. Remember to grease them up too. Yeah. Now we put them like this. We forgot to install this bearing. Install the bearing for me. I'm just going to lay this uh, right in here like this. Flat. And that way we can put this bearing on. And where's the cow? What bearing is that? This end bearing, uh, which goes to the turbo uh, from the actuator is a eight millimeter, eight millimeter by 14 millimeter by four millimeter. And how do you normally put this bearing on? You just lightly press it? In this? Usually in that thing. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's use that thing. Use a little press here, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like this? Uh, let's put the magnet in the gap. There you go. Uh, okay, yeah, I see this is... Okay, yeah, it's a sort of a guide. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's nice. You have to be extra careful with that one. Yeah. It doesn't feel straight. Here we go. There we go. 
It's a little straighter. How far in? Until you can't press it down no more. Oh, okay. So it sets itself. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, because of the way you made the mushroom tool. Ah, the way I made the tool, it, uh... It has a stopper. It has a stopper. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, it, it'll feel like... It'll like feel this. like this. Yes. You'll get this feeling if you do this wrong. Or it'll be stuck, which is even worse. Okay. Then you have to start over. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's, uh... Basically, it's just the, the chamfer on the end of the shaft that's sticking up. Just a little bit of the chamfer. Okay. So, that's that. Let's put her together. This one goes on this side. This one goes on this side. Uh, like this. That one's face up. That one's face down. And they, they go in together. Like this. I take it. Mm-hmm. And uh, clean paper towel, the handle of uh, maybe something soft, and uh, yeah, I felt them go down. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they went down. Perfect. Tiny little bit of grease on the shafts. On the teeth, and, too. Yep, all over the teeth, right? Yep. And get the grease in the teeth. Yep. You don't want to put too much grease, probably, because they get all over the circuit board, right? Yeah. So you just want to grease it up good shaft there you go that looks pretty good yeah turn it there you go I'll wipe some of that up make it nice turn cool okay uh it wouldn't be a bad idea just to dust it with a little more electro shield okay. yeah just so that it's slick just when it a goes little in. dust and improve yeah, and on the inside so that it doesn't corrode. That will harden and dry like a wax. Uh, and uh, there we go. I'll put this back down in there. All right. And I want to get some on the top of the gasket. So I will use my fingers. Just so that we know it seals good, being we're reusing an old gasket. So that pretty much takes care of the bottom. Yeah. Works. It's sleeping. It's sleeping. All right, now I'm gonna start putting this thing together. And just kind of give her a little snuggie. Snug. Uh, let me take the screws out. You put the screws in here so when we sandblast it, sand doesn't get in the, uh, the screws, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Rolling? Okay, I'm gonna put my plug in. It's got an offset. You can see it's got an offset. Okay, cool. So it goes like this. Beautiful. And you said you wanted to show how you clean all these screw threads. So you usually just do this, right? Put it on the screw gun, take a, uh, a, a die, 
This is a 0 0.7 M4 by 0 0.7, 0 0.7 mm -hmm. uh, die. And you just go like this on all the screws to clean them. Yeah. Cool. That works good before putting them in. Okay. Let me look at the find the uh, the ones that look the nicest. Four, five, six. Okay. And then uh, we got these two. I'm gonna put these two in, right? Mm -hmm. For the uh, plug. Could have sandblasted that a little better, but it's okay. And run them down. Okay. Alright. 30 inch pounds. Mm hmm. Okay, now we can flip this guy back over. A little further in there. And now it's time for a circuit board, no? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. I'm grounding myself on this grounded table at the same time as well, so I don't get it. Even though it's summertime out here, it's usually not much. Shouldn't be a problem this time of year. I need to grease up this uh, clean my hands a bit before I use my fingers on that nice clean grease. <laughs> <laughs> 